Well, Jay Bardella from Happy Harbor Comics here to tell us all about an annual fundraiser they do for the Boys and Girls Club and Big Brothers Big Sisters of Edmonton. And Jay, uh, shorts, first of all. Well done, sir. Thank well you. done. Thank you very much. What did you say? It was mind over matter or something like mind that? Mind over matter. I don't have much of a mind, so it really doesn't matter. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay, well, let's talk about uh, what we've got going here today. What exactly is your uh, fundraiser that's taking place? Next month. Yeah, uh, on March 17th, uh, we're doing our annual fundraiser for Big Brothers Big Sisters Boys Ghost Club. Yep. It is our 12-hour comic challenge, and what it is is that individuals come in and on the spot they write, pencil, and ink a 12-page comic in 12 hours. Wow. Well, done. Yeah, so doing multiple jobs at the same time, crunched into a very short time period. and uh, Exactly. And it's a lot of fun. This yeah. is from last year's 24-hour challenge that we're showing here, but uh, do you have to be a good artist to take part in this? No, absolutely not. Uh, it's not really about the quality of the art. It's mm -hmm. more about uh, being creative. And this year, actually, we're, we're putting a little bit of a twist on it. Usually, people can come in and just do whatever they want. But this year, we're doing it what we call in a, in a jam style. Okay. And what's going to happen is, is that every hour, everyone has to trade pages. Oh, cool. So every hour, you'll actually be getting a new story. And you'll have to like kind of read through what's been done before yeah. and then figure out how to continue the story. And then eventually, like in the last hour, you're going to have to figure out how to finish someone else's story. <laughs> And that can be really tricky. So that's yeah, that's really where the challenge kind of comes into play. It's more about the creativity than necessarily the, the quality of your penciling artwork. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, well, we have uh, saw right before we came on the Color of the Weather people, six <laughs> years old and that. Is there any age restriction for your guys? Absolutely not. We've we've had we've had preteens and we've had, you know, uh, older people as well. Anybody who just wants to participate, um, we just ask that you do a little bit of fundraising ahead of time. Sure. Uh, at a minimum, we'd like to, to collect $50 on behalf of Big Brothers Big Sisters Boys and Girls Club, and uh, and that's kind of like your entry fee. Right. Uh, we provide snacks and water throughout the day as well, and then uh, basically we give you the place to sit and lots of people to work with, so it's great camaraderie, yeah. it's a lot of fun, uh, and all for an excellent cause. And if uh, someone can't make it down there next week, I mean, they have a month now to, to raise mm -hmm. funds for it, uh, can they still donate? They certainly can. They can uh, stop by the store and donate on behalf of someone, plus all the participants. Uh, we'll have them listed up on the website cool. as people sign up, and if you happen to know someone you know, through Facebook or Twitter yep. or whatever, you can certainly uh, make a pledge of donation on their behalf. Perfect. Now, what happens? We've got the books here. Well, this is we what do. happens to all the finished artwork. How do you guys publish it? Or? Yeah, absolutely. We like to, uh, cool. to take everything and try to put them into a book just to kind of commemorate the event. And also, a portion of the proceeds from the sale of each book continue to go on to Big Brothers Big Sisters. Cool. Uh, we're very lucky that we actually have lots of artists, uh, designers and stuff, so people help us get these books put together. This is cool. This and, is like uh, from 2008, this one. That one is from 2008. Our first one's from 2008. 2005 and awesome. you know, we put one out every year and, okay. and keep raising money so if anything uh, as we wrap up here just I guess if you get the one hour to do a page what happens if you kind of fall behind um don't. <laughs> it's, all, I know, it's, it's pretty tricky. But if you do yeah. fall behind, hopefully, you know, someone will, whoever's working next Talk might out finish out a little bit. But, uh, yeah, it's still, it's a pretty, it's a team effort. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for coming in in the crappy weather this morning. Appreciate oh, no. having you. We'll see you again next month probably. And uh, Happy Harbor has hosted this event six times since 2005. And to date have helped collect just under $13,000 for this great cause. Way to go, guys. Nicely done. The Comic Challenge goes Saturday, March 17th, 10 until 10. For more information, you can give them a call. There's their number. And Happy Harbor. Comics.com is online. While well, the countdown is on, local comic fans have just four hours left to finish their masterpieces. Today is the seventh annual Comic Challenge at Happy Harbor Comics. The local store holds the event to support the Big Brothers and Big Sisters Club. The participants are challenged to design a 12-page comic book in 12 hours, but this year there's a twist to the competition. The extra challenge is going to be at the beginning of every hour, everyone's trading stories. So the story that you begin is uh, something you won't see for 11 hours and then you're going to get it back at the beginning of the 12th hour to finish it off once you've had a chance to read through it and figure out where it's gone. Each participant has to raise at least $50 to take part. The group is hoping to reach about $2,000 by the end of the day.